In this video, I'm going to go through the five best low budget video cameras for making YouTube videos. There are a lot of cameras out there, but spending big doesn't always pay off. That's why today I'm going to share with you our best low budget cameras, all coming in at under $600, so you can get started without breaking the bank. Hi, I'm Kev. Before we dive in, make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that that way you'll get notified whenever we post any new videos to help you with your video marketing. And just as a bit of housekeeping, we're not affiliated with any of these brands and all of our recommendations are based purely on our own experience. We're just here to provide great advice to our viewers and we don't receive any kickbacks. So without further ado, let's get started. Camera one, the Panasonic HC VXF 990 EBK 4K camcorder. This is one of our favorite cameras and if you want to film your videos in 4K, then this is a great choice for you. Let's be clear, the picture quality on this camera is stunning. Not only does it shoot in full 4K, but it has great color fidelity. The image stabilization is spot on and it does really well in low light conditions. This is definitely one of the best consumer cameras on the market right now. If you want to shoot creative B-roll for your videos, then the slow motion feature can definitely come in handy, but maybe that's not required for simple YouTube videos like this one. Similarly, while 4K is nice to have, it's still a bit overkill for most and a higher level of output than you actually need. And one thing to consider here is the price. Clocking in at $600, it's affordable compared to other high-spec cameras, but it's still at the top end when compared to those suitable for simple YouTube videos that we'll be discussing in this video. If you're looking for something versatile that performs well for both filmmaking and vlogging applications, then this is definitely one to look into. But if you want to save a bit of cash, then there are some other great choices that will serve you equally well and are perhaps a little easier on the wallet. Camera two, the Panasonic G80. What we love about this camera is its expandability. This is one of the few cameras at this price point that lets you attach a battery grip for extra battery life and easier handling. Since the lens and camera are both weather sealed, something that's sometimes hard to find at this price point, this camera is perfect for video makers that plan to shoot outside or in harsh conditions. One of our favorite features of the G80 is its super fast and reliable autofocus. This makes filming sharp video a breeze and it's a great help for beginners who aren't comfortable finding the perfect focus point all the time. Its face detection capabilities are top of the line and you only need to make a few quick taps on the touchscreen to focus on your subject. Definitely one of the best autofocuses we've seen at this price. And let's not forget the image quality on this thing. The G80 captures beautiful 4K video and 16 megapixel stills. So it's a great choice if you want a camera that excels at still photography as well. The lenses are really high quality and are great value for the money. This camera is particularly well suited for video makers who plan to get out and about and perhaps make more than simple piece to camera videos. So if you want something durable, expandable and great for on location shoots in all conditions, the Panasonic G80 should be on your list. All in all, for just $500 to $600, it's hard to go wrong with this one. But what if you really want to keep costs to a minimum? If the thought of spending $500 to $600 on a camera makes you uneasy, then don't worry, this next one could be perfect for you. Camera three, the Acaso EK7000. The Acaso EK7000 sports action camera may not look like much, but it sure does pack a punch. At just $74.99, this little guy shoots 4K video at 25 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames. And if you want to do some still photography, then you can take 16 megapixel photos. That's a lot packed into a little package. But what's really special about this camera is how durable it is. And with a waterproof case, it can withstand depths of up to 131 feet. So you may be wondering who this camera is best for. Well, this is a clear cut action camera along the lines of a GoPro. So if you're shooting extreme sports, going on hikes, scuba diving, or anything else that's likely to bounce your camera around or get it wet, then this is by far the best choice on this list. 
But because this thing takes great videos at such a low price, I'd also recommend it to anyone that wants to get into video making without putting a dent into their bank accounts. Okay, you're not going to get the same video quality as some of the other cameras on this list and you won't have the same level of control, but for less than $75, you really can't go wrong. However, if you want to stay frugal and still get a camera that feels great in your hands and offers a higher level of control, then this next option might be for you. Camera 4, a second-hand DSLR. If you've ever looked into photography and cameras before, then you've probably heard the term DSLR, the digital version of the good old SLR, or single lens reflex camera. They're by far one of the most popular types of camera around. In fact, we sometimes use them to shoot videos just like this one. DSLRs are perfect for YouTube videos because of their crisp video quality and their superb depth of field capability. You can get some really professional looking shots out of a DSLR, and if you buy one used, you can also save a lot of money too. Just how much can you save? Well, you can easily find a used Canon Rebel T4i for under $400. You might even snag a Rebel T7i, one of the best prosumer cameras around, for about $600. At retail, the T7i sells for over $1,000, so you're getting a real bargain when you buy used. So are there any downsides? Well, firstly, finding a used camera isn't as simple as buying a new one. You'll need to shop around on eBay, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, or any other similar sites to find one that fits the bill. But, assuming you find a used DSLR, in good condition, then one thing that you need to be aware of, this isn't a set and forget camera. While autofocus is an option on a DSLR, you're going to need to manually focus your shots more often. If you're shooting static scenes like this one, then you may need to only focus once before you hit record. But if you're gonna be moving around with your camera, then this may require a bit more attention. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for then, drum roll please. Here's our top pick for low budget video cameras. Camera five, the Panasonic G7. The Panasonic G7 is our top recommendation for anyone looking to get started with video who wants outstanding quality at a reasonable price. Weighing in at around $500, the G7 offers great performance without breaking the bank. Although it was designed primarily for stills photography, the video quality on this thing is excellent. The G7 can shoot video in 1080p and 4K, and if you want to take some slow-mo shots, then this camera has you covered with up to 60 frames per second in 1080p. What really makes this camera great though is the range of interchangeable lenses available, which opens up a whole world of creative possibilities. The slight downsides though are that the low light performance may not be as capable as some others, but that shouldn't be a problem for YouTube videos, especially if like this one, you're shooting in a brightly lit situation. And the plastic body on this camera and the color fidelity may not be to everyone's liking, but for a camera in the $500 mark, even these slight niggles don't detract much from the overall quality and performance of this camera. All in all, if you want to get started with YouTube videos without breaking the bank, then this is our top recommendation. So that's a wrap. I hope these recommendations can help you start out your video production journey on the right foot. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the subscribe button to get notified as soon as we post new videos. And don't forget, if you need any more help with your video production, then you can always get in touch with us here at our agency, Spiel, by visiting www.spielcreative.com. Goodbye for now, and happy filming.